Hi guys, welcome to section B of part one, which is planning, budgeting, and forecasting lecture series from Global Phoenix. My name is Manikanta. I'll be your tutor for this particular course. So before we start with your section B lectures, first let's go through the topics and contents of section B. So the title of section B is planning, budgeting, and forecasting. So this particular topic, as the name itself suggests, it talks about various planning activities done by the organization. How do we prepare budgets? What are the different types of budgets? And also different forecasting techniques which are used while preparing the budgets and other estimates of the organization. Now, for those of you who don't know, forecasting is actually estimating or predicting what can happen in the future. Let's say a company has a sales or a revenue in the following manner. Let's say uh, in uh, 2019, their revenue was a million dollars. In 2020, their revenue increased to $1.3 million. In 2021, it went up to $1.5 million. In 2022, let's say this went up to $2 million. So in the same format, if the company is estimating or predicting what will be our sales in the year 2025 what will be our sales what could be our sales in 2025 this is called as forecast so what is the difference between a forecast and a prediction sir see forecast is also a type of prediction there is no doubt in that but usually when we use the word forecast we mean that we predict the future based on the past history. So forecasting is a technique of predicting the future based on the past transactions. That is what we are considering here. So this particular topic will be covering your planning, budgeting and different types of forecasting techniques that we use. And this section will cover 20% of your exam score. So out of your 500 marks of your CMA part 1 exam, 20% that is 100 marks will be tested from planning, budgeting and forecasting. So let's see the topic section, uh, the topics in this particular section. So if you see this particular section is again divided into six topics. What are those six topics, sir? Topic number one is strategic planning. So here we talk about different different types of strategies and uh, how different uh, business objectives are created. What is vision statement of the organization? What is the mission of the company? Similarly, what is the long term tactic and what are short term tactics? What are strategies? How are they designed? What are the various levels in the organization? What are the contingency plans, backup tools and techniques? So all the theoretical discussion regarding the strategy formation of a company is covered in this first topic of section B strategic planning and then the second topic covers your budgeting concepts so now budgeting concepts means you know that even when we are doing our uh, you know household maintenance we create a budget we say that okay out of the total members in the family this is our total income he is earning this much she is earning this much so this is our total cash inflows out of this these are our cash outflows we have to pay internet bill we have to pay electricity bill we have to pay rent electricity maintenance telephone internet all these expenses you have a list of that and then you say okay this much inflow this much outflow so this could be our net cash flow so let's save this much and use this much for our trip or let's go to movie or whatever it is so nothing but you are preparing a budget there so here in this section we are going to see what are the different concepts and terminologies used in budgeting what are operational budgets and performance related goals what are the characteristics that should be there in a good budget how do we allocate the resources available to different different aspects of the business any other kind of budgeting concepts so all these topics are covered in budgeting concepts Next, if you see, the next topic is forecasting techniques. How do we predict the future based on historical information? So here you have something called regression analysis. Sir, what is regression, sir? Regression is nothing but considering the past, identifying the trend, 
to predict the future evaluate the past see what has happened in the past identify any kind of trend that is there in this particular business or that particular data you can say and based on that predict the future this is called as a regression analysis okay evaluate the past identify the trend and predict the future then you have time series analysis time series as in uh, just for you to easily understand suppose if i talk about a business of um what shall i take okay umbrellas so if i take a business that is manufacturing umbrella so i know for sure that in a year out of the four quarters q1 q2 q3 q4 usually q4 is your rainy season right so in that particular season in the rainy season you have the highest volume of sales for a umbrella manufacturing entity whereas if i assume that q1 is my uh, q2 is my summer so this is the area where you might have moderate sales because umbrellas are also used in summers but if i talk about winter or spring the sales of umbrella during those seasons would be comparatively lower so we can say that in the year itself the sales are not evenly distributed there is a timing difference or we can say there is a seasonal uh, volume sales and all that stuff that is covered under time series analysis a series of data analyzed with considering the time factor all right so i assume that is clear for you so time series analysis is nothing but series of data analyzed with the time frames so in the previous example i took quarter 1 quarter 2 as a time frame you could take any half yearly or monthly or whatever it is as a time frame that is fine now what do we mean by smoothing sir okay all right i'll just give you a small example let's say 20 uh, 15 to 2022 sales are there sir 2015 the uh, a company had a million dollar sale after that 1.2 million after that uh, 2016 1.2 2017 1 million uh, 1.4 million 2018 they did 1.8 million and 2019 they did 1.6 million and 2020 they did let's say 1 million and 2021 they did 2 million 2022 they did 2.5 million so why are you taking so many numbers as an example just understand i'll have to highlight this two particular values for you 2021 million and 2021 2 million so why because you can see that before that before 2020 the sales were in an uptrend right so if you see the sales 1 million 1.2 million 1.4 1. 1.8 uh, 1.6 so almost all the sale was in an uptrend till here somewhere in 2019 the sales started to drop this three years sir these are nothing but covid years 2019 2020 2021 20, and then again you can see 2021 sales has boosted that is where we came out of covid lockdowns have been lifted so from here onwards again the sales are in an uptrend so what you can understand here is that till 2018 there is one trend after 2021 there is an another trend in between these two back brackets only between 2019 and 20 due to covid there is a decline so if i take a sales graph it might look something like this increasing increasing then decrease and again increasing so here this particular frame is nothing but a temporary fluctuation to the operations so smoothing is a technique that we use to eliminate such kind of temporary fluctuations from the analysis so technically simply speaking for you to easily understand smoothing what we try to do is we try to avoid or we try to reduce the impact of these kind of abnormal changes in the data ऐसे एबनॉर्मल चेंजेस को इग्नोर करते हुए वी ट्राई टू इग्नोर दिस काइंड ऑफ एबनॉर्मल चेंजेस एंड वी ट्राई टू स्मूथ इन द डेटा आउट टू मेक इट लुक मोर यूनिफॉर्म इन वन सिंगल लाइन 
okay we'll learn more about it when we go into the topic do not worry then after that we have again uh, this concept of learning curve analysis so just to give you a simple understanding suppose if i ask you to study uh, you know this particular concept regression first time when you are looking at regression in your life first time never heard about it never looked into it you might take at least 5 to 6 hours to understand this without the help of a tutor if you are doing self study with the help of a tutor maybe 1 to hours it might take because they did lot of years of research uh, you know to bring you that particular information so if i ask you to revise this again second time maybe it will take 3 hours if i ask you to revise it third time you might take 1 hour if i ask you to revise it fourth time you might complete it in half an hour sir why is this happening why are you taking lesser time when you are revising the same topic again and again because you are getting more experienced at it right don't you think the same logic will apply for labor in your organization don't you think they will take lesser and lesser time when they become more and more experienced in the production process yes that is called learning curve analysis there is a learning curve which will reduce the time taken per unit time taken per unit will come down slowly that is called learning curve analysis all right next one expected value analysis sir this is nothing but probability so let's say uh, you know ipl is going on let's say uh, the final match is between mumbai and chennai so you do a prediction right so there will be a poll conducted by this uh, tata ipl or whoever is conducting the ipl in that particular year they'll conduct a poll asking the users or the viewers to comment uh, which one to uh, you know choose which uh, team will win so let's say 80% voted to mumbai 20% voted to chennai okay so this is nothing but a production prediction or a probability the chances of mumbai winning the match are predicted to be 80% chances of chennai winning the match are predicted to be 20% so this is called as a probability analysis or we call it as expected value analysis all right so this is uh, in detail we'll discuss with multiple scenarios i just gave you one small example here but actually you will have multiple uh, possibilities and different different use cases we'll discuss in the lectures do not worry about it now next topic is topic number 4 which is budgeting methodologies so budgeting methodologies is again the techniques that we use in the process of preparing the budgets so you can see activity based budgeting zero based budgeting continuous budgets or rolling budgets or flexible budgets these are the tif- different types or i would rather say techniques of preparing the budget so activity based based on the different activities in the organization zero based you start from zero and then slowly build on the budget then continuous budgets continuously as in every period you keep adding the budgets or keep recreating the budgets similarly you have flexible budgets flexible as in you will prepare the budget for different different levels of activities so that any level of activity you will have a ready made budget in your hand so these are different different types of budgeting techniques which we will learn in the respective topic then moving on your fifth topic is annual profit plan and the supporting schedules sir annual profit plan as in uh, you know what is your predicted sales what is your predicted cost of goods sold to calculate cost of goods sold you need to know opening stock you need to know purchases you need to know any direct expenses and you need to know the volume or the level of closing stock so basically how do we calculate cost of goods sold opening stock plus purchases plus direct expenses minus closing stock so you need to know all these four things then you will get the gross profit margin and then you need the general sales and administration expenses gs and a expenses and then you will get the operating profit pbit we call it as profit before interest and tax then you need to know the finance cost then you need to know any kind of investment income then you will get the pbt profit before tax minus tax then you will get pat sir what is this sir this is nothing but the pro forma for your profit and loss 
so each element of this pro forma profit and loss needs to be calculated or estimated or predicted so we need to know what could be the opening stock we know at the beginning of the year itself that is closing stock of previous year we need to predict what is our potential sales for the current year how much purchases would be there how much expenses would be there what could be the closing stock potential closing stock what would be gs and general sales and administration expenses what is finance cost what would be the investment income what could be the tax for this year so that is what we prepare in the annual profit plan and various supporting schedules for this like for example purchases is there so how do i predict the purchases sir for that there should be a supporting schedule okay so we'll prepare operational budget which is nothing but this part we'll prepare a financial uh, budget which is kind of talking about finance cost investment income from where do we get the money and all that stuff kaha pe invest karna hai all that basics capital equity and debt from where do we get the money how much are we expecting to raise in the current period and all that stuff and then we'll prepare a master budget that includes everything okay and last part of your uh, chap uh, of your section b is top level planning and analysis so here we prepare pro forma pro forma means template based pro forma income statement profit and loss financial statement projections ba basically p and l and balance sheet cash flow will create a projection will kind will uh, calculate and estimate what could be the potential numbers for the coming period what could be our cash flows for the next upcoming years anticipate the performance using the pro forma statements based on the pnl balance sheet and uh, cash flow estimates that we prepared what could be the potential performance of the entity we will try to estimate that so how do we do all that stuff sir we'll learn in section b i hope this uh, introduction gave you a clear understanding of what you can expect from section b what are the different topics covered in section b and other aspects all right so i'll see you guys in the next lecture until then Keep smiling. Take care. Bye-bye, guys.